happy Saturday. Hope you're all well. Hope you've had a good week and you have stayed safe. And the postman is just about to put some letters through the box for us. If you hear it, there's Liam in the background. Let me get them. There's the doorbell. <laughs> Liam's going to get the post. Um, Evan and I have been to Lidl's this morning. Uh, we are sorting out, or Chris is sorting out the kitchen. Um, oh, it's all happening here. I tell you, it's like Piccadilly Circus. Um, we are... Thank you, Liam. Sorry, I got all distracted. I think we're going to go down to Caldecott Castle later and look at the lights. We're going to decorate the Christmas cake. Um, tomorrow, Liam's got rugby tots. So, um, you can just see Liam's feet in the background. Um, so, yeah, so we will catch up with you in a bit. Bye. Well. Are you in it or not? Hiya. Hi. So, Chris is sorting out the kitchen before he tells me off for saying we're sorting out the kitchen. Correct. I'll show you a bit of carnage. Chris has got a before picture that we could add in of the 55 million cereals that we have. Oh yeah, cereals definitely. We have a lot of cereal. We don't tend to eat a lot of cereal. So yeah, so if I quickly, I'll just put the, put my flap down and show. I've just been shopping, as I said, so that's all the shopping stuff. We've got a million marshmallows for loads of different reasons. Tupperware everywhere. Food, look at a very neatly organized cupboard there. It's not well done yet, it's not done. It's not finished yet. Baking is now down there. And the reason that we're sorting it out is because we bought a new coffee machine, a new Nespresso, I can't say it, this week. So we're just trying to sort everything out. So we will do that and then come back to you. In a bit. In a bit. Hi. Ta-da. Hello. Can you keep my it's, off? You can't take your seatbelt oh, yeah. off. We have, uh, it's Erin and myself and Liam. We have just pulled up because we are going to go and have a look at some Christmas lights at Caldecott Castle. So, um... We might try to take some video or we might just take some pictures um, and we'll add some Christmassy music so I hope you enjoy. Bye! Happy Sunday! Uh, Liam and I have been to Rugby Tots. Erin and Chris have pretty much chilled out. Uh, so Erin and I are now going to um, decorate the cake. Erin's in a very sort of depressed, sad mood today for some reason. She did an online test where she was 50% depressed apparently because Chris said to her, she said, well then she's 50% happy. But it's very grey, it's very rainy. It's a very typical Sunday. So we are going to decorate the Christmas cake today that I made ooh, probably a month or so ago. Um, I always follow the Mary, Mary Berry Christmas cake recipe. So it's a very traditional fruit cake. Um, but first of all, I want to show you my festive slippers that I finally got to wear. And so let me just show you one second. Let me flip that round. There they are. Look at them with their little pom-poms. As Erin said when I bought them, they do look a bit like Tinkerbells. But yeah, so that's nice. So here we are. Christmas cake is in here. Gone a bit lazy this year. Well, there's the apricot jam that I usually use. I've bought pre-rolled marzipan and pre-rolled fondant icing. So that should make life a bit easier. <coughs> Excuse me. And then for the top of the cake, we've got some little decorations, a little Santa. Excuse my very horrible nails. Uh, the snowman. And then we've got some edible glitter. So let me just open up the cake. I have been feeding it for the last month. Here it is, all wrapped up. Oh, honestly, I wish there was smell of vision It smells delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. So, we are... <laughs> Erin's just cringing. <laughs> so, we are going to decorate it, and then um, we will show you what it looks like when it's all finished. See you in a bit. <gasps> We're finished. We have done it. Erin and I have decorated the cake while listening to lots of lovely Christmas music. Um, right, 
here she is. Here's the cake. Are we ready? Ta-da! Oh, I've just turned that around. I've no idea. There we go. There it is. Looking very Christmassy, very homemade. There's our Father Christmas. Erin and I have put so much glitter on this cake, you can't even see off their faces. Rudolph's nose has gone a bit glittery. Santa looks like he's got a bad case of dandruff. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our Christmas cake in my new um, Next cake stand that I bought the other day because our last one broke. Chris dropped it, so. It was the best smash you'll ever hear. It was, it was a very good smash. So there it is, looking all Christmassy and lovely. So that's it, that's Christmas cake making. See you in a bit, bye. <laughs> Who's speaking? You do. Me, clearly. You do, you do. Oh, oh, Ready? Okay. Okay. Happy Sunday afternoon, everybody. Hello. Hello. Very chilled out day. Obviously we decorated the cake a little bit earlier. Um, I've done ironing, we've watched a bit of Dr. Doolittle. Kids have just had very nice hot chocolate in our new frothy milk machine thing that came with my new Nespresso machine, which is lovely. And it's uh, it's that time of the afternoon on a Sunday when mm. it's Christmas treat time tasting. Ta -da. A jingle or something like that. We should. We should for a separate thing. So this we've got one, two, three, four things for tasting this week. Hopefully they'll be better than last. Just one mince pie on this week's um, tasting, and uh, and a few few fingers. <laughs> There's a few fingers on the plate. Indeed. So should we crack in? Let's crack on. In on our first uh, treat this week. I don't know if I can say this. Is Tesco Le cushion sticks. I apologise to anybody who's German. Um, they are cranberry filled, soft and mildly spiced, loop kitchen, dipped in dark chocolate, no less. Mm. One each. Oh, I, nice. I do like a bit of dark chocolate. Here we go. You're snapping. Let's. Oh, I thought there maybe be more cranberry, but. Can't really taste the cranberry, do you? Oh, yeah? Mm. Oh, probably. Um, I think they're nice. I don't say they weren't nice. Like a Christmas spice in them. Hmm. Oh, they're nice. Out of five? <laughs> <laughs> Not making that same mistake again. Just above midway, three. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, I would agree. Nice. They're nicer than last week's um, yeah, dark chocolate mince nice. pies and stuff like that, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, that's nice. Tidy. Nice little start there. Our next one is a bit of a rogue. I think these were Aldi. I picked these up. Oh no. Were they B&M or were they Home Bargains? Something like that. And they're the Snowman and the Snow Dog coconut logs. Who doesn't mind a coconut log, eh? So Maybe you get... Festive party should have a coconut <laughs> log. <laughs> it should. Marshmallow enrobed in coconut and white chuck flavour coating. You get 10 in a pack. And they weren't expensive, I can assure you. So, this is what this little bad boy looks like. It does look like a Twix with coconut on it. It does. Not as long as a Twix finger, though. A little bit shorter than that. Twix finger. I'll snap mine in half. And it is exactly what it is on the tin. Exactly. Marshmallow and coconut. That's really nice. It's a bit like, you know, those domed biscuits. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but I can't really think of them. And per, I think they're about 43 calories each. Oh, good on the calorie counting. So good for calorie counting. You could get two of those bad boys with a nice coffee. Mmm. Delicious. Nice light snack. Mmm. The leap cushions blow me down. 38 calories a finger, those. Oh. Again, not a bad, you know, you get a couple of fingers in with a coffee. It's a healthy, it's a healthy <laughs> finger. A healthy festive finger. That's what you want in life, no? Mm. I'm just going to leave the other bit of my marshmallow one there. Now these I was very excited about moving swiftly on. Are we going to leave the mince pie for last? I thought we were going to be marking those. Oh yes, let's mark those. I think that's quite a three and a half. I quite enjoyed that. Similar. Three. A three. I'll go three again. Just mm. above midway. Just. <laughs> 
don't you tease me. So, when I was in our little premiere store the other day, and I've seen people talk about these on um, social media. So, the limited edition, although these ones aren't limited edition, but okay. We'll go with the limited edition first, Twix Winter Spice. Exciting. 185 calories per finger. So we've only got one of these each to try. So winter spice. Doesn't need to say any more than that, really, does it? Ginger taste with spices is all I can ascertain from that. Well, I wonder if we built the smell of ginger. <laughs> I wonder if we will. There's your half. Well, thank you very much. Weirdly, sniff it, I can smell that ginger. I can't smell anything. I don't know there's something I wrong. I think there's something going wrong with you. Yeah. Mm. Here we go. It's a Christmas tone coming through, isn't it? All I can taste is cinnamon, really. I think it needs a bit more winter spice. Mmm. It doesn't blow me away. The leaf cushion the sticks li definitely had that wintry vibe. But these, mm. I'm not sure if they do. Do you think it tastes like a cinnamon stick? Have you ever tasted a cinnamon stick? No, but if you've ever been having a curry and somebody leaves a cinnamon stick in and you chow down on it, it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice face. No worries. Yeah, I'm. I'm not convinced by that. I'm going to go two and a half. I'm going to go halfway on that bad boy. <laughs> well done. Learning as we go. Um, two. Oh, wow. Even lower. No, no, I just... Didn't blow you away. No, not at all. No, it's just like they've chucked, chucked sorry, <laughs> a load of cinnamon in it and gone winter spice. First two are different. They're Christmassy. Yeah. That is just... Mm, don't know. No. I'd just rather a regular Twix. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. The salted caramel ones are very nice. Yeah, they didn't have any of those. But, they were, but everyone chucks salted caramel, caramel in everything. They nowadays. do. But um, yeah, okay. Mm. Next so on the list our is... next is Twix White. I can't say I'm the biggest. Out of like the different types of chocolate, white would be my last choice. Would it? Out of dark and milk. Mm. So let's see, 188 calories per finger. Out of dark milk and white. Yeah, white's my last. Okay. What about you? Why are you looking at me really? No, no, I was just thinking about those um, chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons? Yeah, the Cadbury's ones that are... I can't remember what ones they are now. Like the luxury ones? Mmm. Mmm. It's not the Bourneville, it's another one. They're quite creamy and nice, but they're, and like, they're, they're like mid, aren't they? They're bordering on a dark, aren't they? Yeah, but they're not. They're nice. They're nice. We like those. <laughs> so... Don't anyway, like, don't like chocolate much in this house. Not. No, no, not at all. So here we go. This is the white. Okay. Don't know if you can. See. It just looks like that. I don't think this is going to taste any different to a normal Twix. But it's white chocolate. More chocolate isn't it? Mm. Nom nom nom. Mm -hmm. um, it's better than the winter spice. What did I give the winter spice? Three? Yeah. No, two and a half, wasn't it? Mm. I've got three for the white, in fairness. Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's nice, but... It's not blowing you away, is it's it? It's not, no. Not going Christmas. Not, yeah. blowing, not blowing me away. Stick with a normal two-finger Twix. Mm. I don't disagree. Mm. Bit of a mixed bag there. But we're coming in with strong at the end, let me tell you. Because we talked about these, I think, for the last two weeks. I got them last Monday. It's Aldi's Specially Selected All Butter Six Slow Gin Minced Tarts with topped with almond flakes. These are the doggy doodles, now, let me tell you. Now, will say tart, mince pie. This is not a mince pie, and we totally get that, but... These are really, really nice. It's filled with mince meat, all right? <laughs> so therefore, let me show you. It's got Chris's favorite, a lattice lid. What would no. be your second choice? No, the, second, the lattice was my second. What's your first? A jam jar lid. I don't know what you're about. You said the other day that this was your, a lattice was your favorite lid of choice. No, it wasn't, it's my second. No, I don't know. Did you watch the video back? No, I have not. So here we are. 
it's a thin, but it's nice. And then it's got a good crust, good base, no soggy bottom to you, Mary. It has, it has got a solid bottom. It has. Can you hear that Ooh, tap? You hear the tapping. <laughs> All right, I'm going straight in with these. We'll put a sign and, up um, to They are vegetarian, you'll word. be good to know. Per tart, 200 calories, 199 per tart. Worth every minute. And you can heat them up as well. There's no tart that you couldn't heat up. I know. I like, I'll have these hot or cold. That's really nice. They're just so... The mince meat is really strong. Lovely crunch on the tart case. Lovely almonds on the top. Oh. It's almost like you've read the box. This is my own description. Well then. That is a five out of five for me. Chris? Four and a half. It's not pleasing some people, honestly. No. What? Four and a half. There's always better out there. What would make it five? I ask you. Probably eating a whole one. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, what would make it five? I'm not sure what would make it five, but that's what life's about, isn't it? Finding the five. Mm. I found it. <laughs> In these mince tarts. So yeah, so that was <clears throat> some good ones in there. Mm -hmm. It was the Twix, I think, they let us down. Yeah. Better than last week. Next week's going to be our last one before Christmas. Might go savoury. Could go savoury. I'm hoping, I'm hoping because when I go back to work tomorrow, I'm hoping I might have a little gift left of some um, homemade mince pies from a colleague of mine. So if they have, then we'll be tasting those as well. Mm. And that'd be interesting. Mm, yeah. That'd be the amateur mince pie. We could, and then we could also rate it, although I feel slightly nervous about saying this, against my Christmas cake that you will have seen earlier that I iced. No contest. It would be my cake, wouldn't it? I know, I've already had one of the mince pies that I'm talking about and they're really nice. <laughs> You're so rude. But yeah, we so might we'll go see. savoury next we'll week. Yes, we've got lots more bits and pieces, I suppose, everybody has in their cupboards. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, we'll see what treats we can rustle up, isn't it? All good. All good in the herd. Strong week this week. Twix let us down. What mm. chocolate is Twix? Is it Nestle? It's not Cadbury, is it? It's Mars. Mars the day. Mm. Mm. Not mm. strong on that one. Yeah, but apart from that, it's been a quiet weekend again. Well, it's not, I think everybody's weekends are quiet, aren't they? Yeah. What have you got on this week? It's what? your last week in work, isn't it's it? my last week in work, so five days, and then next Friday I'm off for two weeks. Happy times. How about you? What's happening with you in work? Oh! <laughs> month, month, um, month, I'm in month nine, aren't I? Month nine. Month, no, <laughs> that's why I can't speak, because I've been nine months of furlough so far this year. Uh, so mm. this week, um, I have Erin at home all week. I have Liam at home from Wednesday. Um, so Tuesday, I'm going to meet my mum, socially distanced and all that, um, for a coffee and go and put some flowers on my um, grand and granddad's grave. And then, yeah, go and have a coffee in um, a nice little cafe, actually, if you do live in South Wales. Um, it's in Beechwood Park, which is in Newport, and there's a cafe there. And um, they do do very nice coffee and cakes, so we're going to do some of that. Um, Erin's going to make some cupcakes, some Christmas cupcakes this week. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to try and finish our Christmas shopping, wrap everything, because I have not, well you haven't either of you, no, not because, wrapped a thing. Because next weekend, although we'll have already done it by the time the video comes mm. out, is we'll have done a socially distance drop to all our family um, around the area as well, because uh, we're sort of locking down and everyone else is over Christmas to try and comply with everything. Um, the area's in a bad way at the moment, mm. so we're going to do a bit of a doorstop Christmas drop-off next Saturday. So we'll have done that by the time you see, guys see this, uh, yeah. which would be good to see everybody on doorstep because I think we haven't seen people for... I haven't long, seen my dad, time. my sister since um, August, I don't think. Yeah, and then see what comes along in the new year, really. Yeah. Fun and games. Exactly. So, yeah, so that's it. But no, all very festive -y. Um The kids are getting really excited for Christmas. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, we'll yep. see you in a bit. Take care.
Bye. Happy Monday. So last night we had tea, kids had tea, we had showers and stuff and then uh, we sat down to watch the Despicable Threes weekend vlog and uh, went to bed and completely forgot yet again to finish the vlog so sorry about that, it's Monday. Um, but I hope you have a, all have a great week, um, stay safe, uh, thank you again so much for watching our vlog and taking time out of your lives to watch us and what we're up to. Um, if you do like um, this video then please subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, the Welsh Christopher Robin, um, give us a thumbs up if you like it as well and uh, we will see you next week. Take care, see you later, Teddy bye!